bitches on me bust. I'm ballin' no discussion. I tell her shorty bust. I tell her shorty bust. I fuck her, I don't trust. New chopper in this rush. We diamonds on me bust. As y'all may know, the Philadelphia 76ers have been eliminated from the NBA playoffs. They was eliminated in the first round by the New York Knicks in six games. So, I had to really think about, I had a long thought about what should the Philadelphia 76ers do. What, what, how, does, how should this team operate offseason? So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Philadelphia 76ers process has officially failed. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. Now, y'all have been loving the NBA playoffs so far. Y'all love NBA content. Y'all love NBA commentary, NBA podcast. Give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm dropping these money Tuesday and Wednesday all week, every week. Appreciate y'all all for support. Keep giving these videos out there. It branches this channel out there to more NBA content. I appreciate y'all for support. Now, all right. The problem with this team, unfortunately, Joel B stays he stays injured. He cannot be healthy. A healthy Joel B is the MVP to lead. A healthy Joel B is averaging 40 points per game. A healthy Joel B, they are still in the second round of playoffs. Joel B, despite him being injured, was still averaging 30 points around 10 rebounds. He was still dominant. But he barely can really get off one. He was just shooting jump shots. He wasn't posting up like he was versus the Knicks. He wasn't getting, he wasn't running down the court like he was in the regular season. He wasn't doing the other things that Philadelphia is used to, used to him doing. Instead, it was Tyrese Maxey showing why he should be a superstar in the league. And showing, in my opinion, Tyrese Maxey is the person they need, to, they need to build around. He's a player they need to build around. Not Joel Embiid no more. Because we don't know how healthy Joel Embiid would stay throughout a whole regular season. Or do going into the playoffs. They need to build around Tyrese Maxey more. Tyrese Maxey. Excuse me. Tyrese Maxey. To me, he's more of a shooting guard. But he can play the point guard position. I would consider putting him at the point guard position starting the season next year. Get ready to buy his Harris. Get rid of Tobias Harris now. Get rid of him. He's inconsistent. Yes, he's a solid player, but he cannot be your number third option. He can't. Instead, trade for Jeremy Grant. I think Jeremy Grant is one of the most underrated players in the NBA. He can play the power four. He can play the small four position. He can rebound. He can he his ability to shoot has improved a lot over the years. He can defend when he, he can defend at many positions on the court. And he's very reliable as a third option, in my opinion. I think y'all should try and find a way to get Jeremy Grant on his team. Forget Paul George. For, listen. Y'all really going to try to get Paul George, and y'all really think it's gonna be a difference? Y'all gonna be having two players. That doesn't perform at the highest level in the playoffs. Now, MB had he definitely performed pretty well in these playoffs. It's just he was injured. Paul George, when is the last time he has been consistently performing well in the playoffs? When he was on the Clippers back in 2021 versus Phoenix? That was the last time I really seen Paul George 
elevate his game to the next level in the playoffs. And I love Paul George, but playoffs, there's a re reason why they call him Pandemic P, okay? So don't try to go off of Paul George, in my opinion. And plus, he's up in the age. You want to stay younger, especially you want to build around Tyrese Maxey. Jeremy Grant, he's getting up there, but he's still, he's still around 29, 30 years old. I would try to go off of the Jeremy Grant, okay? Another option. You need more shooting, in my opinion. You need me. You need more scoring coming off the bench. I think you need a backup point guard. If Tyrese Massey doesn't work as a point guard, you need like, like a Tyus Jones, somebody like that from Washington. You need more big, like bigs, like playing behind Joel B for sure, so you can get more size because Philly kind of lacks size versus New York Knicks, and that's crazy and insane. But other than Joel B. It was really six for six, six for seven points playing out there versus the Knicks. Okay, y'all need more continuity off the bench. Y'all just need again to build around Tyrese Maxey. Like I said, the best option y'all should try to get is Jeremy Grant. Tyus Jones has a backup point guard. They wouldn't do this, but I love. I can. Oh man, I would love to see either. Jalen Suggs on his team or Karis LeVert to be like a, a pick and pop person up, like coming off the bench, or maybe he can start. I don't think he could start. I don't believe he should start for y'all, but Karis LeVert coming off the bench, pick and pop threes, can drop. He could be a six man if he wants to. I think that would be a good option. I just, y'all need another bid to, you know, to release some stretch off of Joel B, and y'all need a better medical staff. There's no reason Joel B should still get stay getting injured like this. I just like Joel B needs to maybe lose weight. Maybe I don't know what I, I'm. I'm not an expert on what he needs to do, but the medical staff has to try to stay keep him healthy the best way they can, and that's why they just need to build out Tyrese Massey because Tyrese Massey is a rising star, a superstar in this league. Y'all can get these things going. Because y'all have a good coach. Y'all have a really good coach. Damn, they're a great coach. The coaching is not the issue. Daryl Morey might be. Might. Okay. But, Philly. Process failed. And I'm trying to fix it for y'all. I'm trying to fix it for y'all. Y'all need 3 and D. A guy that's a little younger. A guy that's going to do his part and play his role. And be the best third option for y'all, other than Tobias Harris, because Tobias Harris has been terrible. Okay, he's been terrible. Backup point guard, Tyrese Jones. Another center to relieve some stress off of Joel B. Or power four. And another pick and pop shooter off the bench. You have Kelsey Vert or Jalen Subs. Philly fans, comment down below. These are some great options. Comment down below your thoughts. Uh, and comment down below your opinions of what the Philadelphia 76ers should do in this offseason. Without further ado, it's been your boy, Will. I appreciate y'all tuning in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Until next time, you be a boy, Will. I'm out.